Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've been enjoying Season of the Lost so far. I certainly have been. I took a little time to soak up and enjoy the content, rather than making videos straight away about it. Maybe not the smartest idea from a content creator's perspective, but first and foremost, I will always be a fan of the game. But anyway, first order of business for me is taking a look at the brand new Warlock Exotic Gloves, Nothing Manacles. Well, maybe not brand new, these were a Destiny 1 exotic, and they returned to Destiny 2 providing the same benefits that they did in D1. I have heard some people around the community talking how this exotic might currently be bugged and not working as intended though, but I don't think Bungie has explicitly come out and addressed the issue at this point. So we're going to take a look at it in its current state, check out its functionality, run some damage numbers, and see how it performs in both PvP and PvE. And if at any point you do find this video useful, helpful, or enjoyable, feel free to leave it a like and consider subscribing to the Ironworker Gaming channel to catch more Destiny 2 content as we move through Season of the Lost. But let's get into it though and check out Nothing Manacles. Nothing Manacles, as stated earlier, are Warlock Exotic Gloves that are now available in Legend and Master Tier Lost Sectors. The perk on these Exotic Gloves is Scatter Charge. You will be able to carry not one, but two Scatter Grenades, and this will enable tracking for these Scatter Grenades. So if you want to make any use at all out of this Exotic, you do need to be running Void Walker, and you do need to have Scatter Grenades selected. This is a very specific exotic and is not going to work with any other subclass or grenade type. And I think the first thing we need to do is check out the scatter grenades themselves. And this is as much for me as it is for you. I have rarely ever used scatter grenades. So while running the testing, I'm trying to learn for myself what exactly is happening with these grenades. And then relaying the information back to you. So when a scatter grenade is thrown and hits the ground or an enemy, it is going to detonate. Six secondary explosions occur and score 12 hits of blast damage along with some impact damage rolled in there as well. I'm assuming the 198 is the secondary projectile impact damage, and those 2,368s are caused by the blast. And I threw a lot of grenades at Carl, just to make sure that the numbers remain consistent. And for the most part, they were. But almost every time, there were two values that popped up at 3,947. I thought these might have been caused by the initial blast, but the time at which the damage tick shows up doesn't really coincide with that. So, I honestly don't know why these two values are showing as higher, but they happen consistently enough that I will consider them when totaling out max damage, which by my calculation should be right in the neighborhood of 32,762. That's 6 at 198 from the impact, 10 at 2,368 from the blast, and those two higher blast values at 3,947. And just in case you were curious, if you are running Top Tree Voidwalker and you charge these grenades with Chaos Accelerant, you're looking at closer to 39,000 points of damage. But you do need to consider that there is a lot of randomness with these scatter grenades. Some of those secondary grenades might not impact a target directly, some may see lower damage because they strayed off course from the target a little bit, and some could miss altogether. If you put that grenade right on a target, you have a good chance of seeing max damage, but it is by no means guaranteed. Nothing Manacles should really help out with this consistency issue, and while simply putting tracking on scatter grenades is not going to up the maximum damage output, it should all but guarantee that you do see full damage if the grenade at least lands somewhere near an enemy target. At least, in theory, that's what should be happening. But the tracking nature itself also appears to be extremely inconsistent. While testing versus a single enemy, one, sometimes two grenades popped out of the cluster and actually tracked toward the target. Other times, I didn't see one come out at all. Now, this could be by design. Maybe Bungie, for some reason, didn't want every single grenade in that cluster to track at a target. I'm not sure what they would have been afraid of by giving it that functionality, but you can't rule it out as a possibility. What also could be happening though, and maybe the more likely scenario, is premature detonation of these Seekers. They could be all smashing into each other as that cluster begins to detonate, causing them to explode before tracking can actually kick in, and maybe one or two are able to sneak out. Either way though, it is a bit disappointing. In my head, I kinda envisioned them working like a skip grenade or a swarm grenade, but no such luck. But all this testing to this point was done versus a solitary target. Maybe if we have more targets in the area, it'll yield better results. And I would say things seem to be a little more positive in this scenario. The grenade itself is just more or less built for ad clearing. And while I can't say that I really saw any more seekers coming out of the pile than I did in solitary testing, 
This is this grenade's environment, but is this a dramatic improvement from the performance of a base scatter grenade? In my opinion, not really. It's better, but still inconsistent, even though the area of effect of the scatter grenade is undoubtedly being increased to a certain extent. Not in the manner that I was hoping to see, but I suppose when using it as a tool for ad clearing, it can help. Moving in the PvP though, if an enemy guardian eats the full effect of a scatter grenade, it will deal lethal damage. At least versus tier 6 resilience, which is what I always test against. And admittedly, I was 100% unaware of this. You pretty much need to put that grenade right on the target, and they do need to take every last bit of damage, but it will outright down them. And nothing manacles will allow for a little more forgiveness as far as grenade placement goes, since a few of those grenades do have the chance to pop out of that cluster and track towards your target. When throwing the grenade within about 3 meters of the enemy player, lethal damage still could be achieved. Is this a mind-blowing improvement? No. But it is an improvement nevertheless. Are you going to secure that one hit kill every single time? Absolutely not. Consistency still is an issue. Something else I want to give you a heads up about that I did find very odd. Scatter grenades that are charged up by Chaos Accelerant seem to lose out on damage in PvP. This is completely backwards of what I thought I was going to see. But for one reason or another, I was not able to secure a single one hit kill with a charged scatter grenade. And really, this could just be something as simple as Bungie trying to safeguard the players from an always accessible one hit kill ability. But who knows? So just don't charge these things up if you're running Top Tree Voidwalker in the Crucible. But I think that's all the functionality aspects out of the way. So let's talk about why you would want to use Nothing Manacles. Alright, first off, I know plain and simple, some people are just really fond of using scatter grenades. If that's you, I'd have to figure you're probably in the minority, but if the manner in which the grenade blankets the area as it detonates feeds into your power fantasy, I mean, rock on man. With nothing manacles, you're going to pocket an additional grenade and gain some additional functionality. But there are a few nice benefits to using this exotic that has absolutely nothing to do with scatter grenades. You obviously do need to have scatter grenades equipped, but handheld supernova on middle tree voidwalker. This feature of the skill tree saw a buff in season 15, decreasing its charge time and increasing its damage in PvE by 100%. It's now dealing just under 40,000 points of damage to Carl, which is about 8,000 points of damage more than a full spread of scatter grenades. So if you do have two grenades up, you can deliver this damage back to back with nothing manacles. In the same vein, if you're running Bottom Tree Voidwalker, you have an additional grenade charge to refresh your health and access Devour more often, which I think most people would agree is the most powerful tool in that skill tree's kit. But in terms of making Scatter Grenades a truly viable option, I just don't think Nothing Manacles in its current form does enough. These have always been viewed as one of the weaker grenade options for PvE. Now the damage is by no means anemic, I mean, it's not terrible. It does clear out trash ads very well, even up into this Legend Lost sector here. And even with the exotic equipped, that's kind of where this grenade's utility starts and stops for me. It eliminates red bar targets. Nothing Manacles just doesn't do enough for it to make me want to switch off of a charged Vortex grenade, which has always been my go-to. In the Crucible though, I think I am going to be playing around with Nothing Manacles and Scatter Grenades a little bit more often. Just the potential of a one-hit kill has captured my attention. Now that lethal damage absolutely can be avoided by any player cognizant enough to just step out of the blast radius as the grenade's detonating, but just one or two seekers exiting that pile could be enough to run down a target and finish the job. And if you do place a grenade near an enemy guardian who you just caught flat-footed, chances are the grenade will take him out. One thing to watch out for when using scatter grenades in PvP though, you can off yourself with these things. I've grown accustomed to a grenade melee combo when using a vortex grenade in PvP. And after the initial blast, a Vortex Grenade is not going to deal self-damage. That is not the case with Scatter Grenades. If you put yourself right in the middle of that cluster, it's going to hurt and it's going to hurt bad. If you've taken even a little bit of damage, you can definitely put yourself down. So just, just a heads up on that. But as we talked about in the PvE section, having two grenades for PvP is a definite advantage. Handheld Supernova on Middle Tree is a very strong offensive and defensive tool. You can proc Devour more often, which is very strong in PvP as well. Or, I mean, just throw two scatter grenades at the same target and make sure that he's going down. 
So whether nothing manacles are working as intended in their current state or not, they do provide some utility. Are these a top tier exotic for warlocks? Not as far as I'm concerned. I'd probably sit them right around the C tier if I were to rank them. There are still a bunch of exotics that I would take over them for both sides of the game, but I don't think they're complete garbage either. Just having an additional grenade charge in some scenarios can be worth it, and I really think that aspect outshines the seeking scatter grenades. So great? No. Worthless? No. I will say Nothing Manacles did fall a little bit short of my expectations though. But if you did enjoy this video or found it useful in any way, leaving it a like really helps out. And consider subscribing to the Ironworker Gaming channel, but only if you think that the content is worth supporting. If you'd like to contact me, Ironworker814 on Twitter, join our channel Discord, link is in the description, or comment down below and I will do my best to get back to you. And with all that being said, I'd like to thank you for taking the time out of your day to check out this armor breakdown. You guys are awesome, and I will catch you on the next one.